On America's role in the world, Mitt Romney went into this idea of strengthening the military. And I'm thinking to myself, we have the strongest military. In Germany, we've got 50 bases. How many does Mitt want? Does he want 60 bases? How much do we need to strengthen the military? And more so, the two trillion that Mitt Romney wants to put into the military is not even money the military is asking for. They're not right. even asking for it. Right. There, there's no way to fix our debt if you want to give everyone tax cuts and increase military spending. Sure there is. You just close the mortgage deduction loophole. Right. Mortgage interest deduction. Right. You could pretty much uh, eliminate every other government program we had have except for entitlement. It still <laughs> wouldn't help. I mean, we well, have to you cut know, military spending. To give Bob Schieffer credit, he actually took that question and he transitioned into where's the money for the bigger military? And uh, Mitt Romney started talking about, well, some things sound good or don't sound good. And then some things we can afford and we can't afford. He says Obamacare doesn't sound good. Incorrect. Once Obamacare policies fully take hold, you're not going to be able to get rid of them because they do sound good. They are budget, uh, budget negative, deficit negative, and it's going to be impossible. There's this window of opportunity now where if Mitt Romney is elected, maybe Obamacare can be blocked, not funded, overturned, whatever. But more military bases around the world, that sounds good. Mitt Romney talking about, well, listen, I ran the Olympics and balanced the budget. Yeah, with the federal bailout, with the federal bailout, you ba balance the budget on the Olympics. And then maybe the biggest zinger of the night, Mitt Romney saying we have less, uh, what did he say? We have less ships now than we did in, in 1916. And President Obama responding with what now is being considered the zinger of the night. Take a look. I think Governor Romney maybe uh, hasn't spent enough time looking at how our military works. You, you mentioned the Navy, for example, and that we have fewer ships than we did in 1916. Well, Governor, we also have fewer horses and bayonets because the nature of our military has changed. We have these things called aircraft carriers where planes land on them. We have these ships that go underwater, nuclear submarines. And so the question is not uh, a game of battleship where we're counting ships. It's, it's what are our capabilities. And so when I... I think that that was perfect. Absolutely perfect. It was the right balance of critique with humor but making it clear that Mitt Romney just has no idea what he's talking about. You're, you're going to make decisions about today's military based on the equipment that was available in World War I, Mitt? That's what you're going to do? You, you shouldn't be president. Well, what's yeah, he even doing it, in this it's race? It's pretty silly to start uh, saying what you want to do in terms of military spending and being that detailed about it. Right. Uh, when Obama is the one sitting down with the heads of the military yeah. deciding what needs to be done on a regular basis. The other funny military thing, Natan, I don't know if you noticed this, is that Mitt Romney a couple of times said that military action really is the last resort for him. But he's asking for an increase to the military bigger than even what they are requesting. If it's the last resort, why do we need to completely increase the size of it and the cost? Well, you know, they, the Republican talking point for this is that uh, by increasing military spending and, you know, sending the message that we're going to increase our um, capabilities to the rest of the world, it will make us so intimidating that we won't have to go to war because we'll just intimidate the rest of the world. That's always worked in the past. Absolutely. No, I think it's definitely based on, you know, good hard evidence. Yeah, very good. I, I actually I'm starting to think I don't really like the direction that Obama's taking this country and I might vote for Romney. There you go. That's the funniest line when you hear that from voters.